what's going on guys welcome to the 13th java game tutorial so in this tutorial what i'm going to do is that i'm going to pop up a message when the bird touches any way of the wall or any way of the upper part of the window or the upper uh, bottom part of the uh, window so let's go ahead and implement it before implementing i just want to run the program so what's going to happen if it touches any way of the wall it's going to pop up a message at the same time if it touches anywhere of the of upper part of the window or the lower part of the window then also it's going to pop up a message saying game over your score is whatever the score do you want to restart if you click yes it's going to restart again and if you if you if you if you click no it's going to exit the game means it's going to destroy entire window it's going to close terminate entire window so let's go ahead and get started so what I need to do right now let's uh, get into this game panel class now I need to create a variable uh, for the uh, no now I need to create a method actually I need to create a method so that I can retrieve I can pop up a message when, when, when it requests I can call that method in order to uh, pop up a message so let's go ahead and create it real quick it's going to be a public method at the same time static boolean because the answer is going to be yes or no binary true or false this is what I'm going to return so pop up message and uh, yeah int the result is going to be yes or no so to pop up a message we need to do like this let's follow with me option pane dot show confirm dialog and what I'm going to do just the first argument is going to be null and the second argument is going to be the message let's say the message game over game over and your score is whatever the score let's go ahead and print the score there we go and let me go ahead and maximize it real quick so you guys can easily see there we go and furthermore I need to say like do we wanna restart the game and it's it is going to be the next line so let's new line do you wanna restart the game there we go and what I need to do I need to give a title to this small pop-up message window so I'm going to give it as game over and the option type is yes or no so what I need to do I need to like J option J option pin like dot yes yes or no option so there we go and semicolon and now I need to check whether the user clicked on yes or no so to do that if the result is equal to let's go ahead and do that g option pane dot if the user click on yes option here this is how we check whether the user clicked on yes option or not so what I need to do return return true otherwise else I need to return false there we go everything is good to go guys so yeah now we need to call this method wherever we need for an example if the bird touches any way of the wall we need to call this method whether to confirm uh, whether to continue or not so let's go ahead and call this method so the appropriate place for call this method is right here that's because if the bird touches any way of the wall it, it's going to come inside this so I'm going to create a boolean variable boolean uh, I'm going to give it as option so I can say option is yes or no true or false I'm I can get the option is true or false from this if, if 
if the user clicked on yes it's going to return true if the user clicked on no it's going to uh, return false there we go and what I need to do main bird dot I need to retrieve that method so let's go ahead and do why I'm unable to see no not in the main bird it's in the game panel dot dot pop-up message there we go if the option is yes means if the option is true what I need to do I need to sorry let's do that later I need to do all these things means I need to reset the bird image and reset the wall and restart the game this is what going to happen and when the user click on no the option is going to be false so what needs to be done uh, I need to destroy the entire window means I need to close the window I need to close the entire window so the same thing go, same thing is going to happen when the bird reaches the upper part or the lower part of the window so let's go ahead and do the same thing here we go and as you can see if it reaches the upper part or the bottom part of the window it's going to come inside this so it's going to reset the uh, bird image so this is what uh, so in 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 this else statement we need to do the same thing so paste it here and uh, instead of uh, resetting this bird image all these stuffs delete it and cut this thing and do it right here there we go and we need to uh, close the window if the user clicked on no button so let's go ahead and run the program so as you can see if I click if I click on yes it's going to restart the game but the problem arises when I click on no let's go ahead and see that one later so let's go ahead and touch the upper part of the window let's click on yes yeah there we go we can continue but when I click on no if I click on no it's going to pop up the message again and again as you all can guess what is the reason for this the reason behind this is that we are not stopping the time variable we are not stopping the time variable so let's go ahead and stop the time variable so that we can destroy the entire game so to do that what I need to do I need to retrieve this time variable so if I need to access this time variable I need to make it as public as well as static so I can call this variable with the help of this main bird class name so let's go ahead and call main bird dot the timer variable dot stop it there we go and we just copy it and paste the same thing right here also there we go oh my god sorry close it terminate it's it's annoying let's go ahead and remove that uh, printing statement comment it there we go and yeah if I click on no it's going to uh, stop the game so this is what happening but we need to close the window as well so what I'm going to do is that to close the window I need to retrieve this entire window with all the components so what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a method which will helps me to uh, which 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 helps me to retrieve the entire window so let's go ahead and create a uh, method public it is also going to be a static and uh, jframe the return type is going to be jframe because I'm going to get this window so I'm going to name it as get window return window there we go and as you all know we need to change this window as static because this is static so let's go ahead and do that static yeah there we go and now we can retrieve this window copy this get method and what we need to do we need to retrieve we need to get that window right here in order to uh, terminate the window 
so I'm going to create a J frame and let's name it as frame main bird dot get window there we go and let's go ahead and import it real quick there we go and now frame dot dispose there we go and just copy the same thing and paste right here there we go let's go ahead and run the program now as you can see if I touch anywhere just click on no it's going to terminate the window as you can see it's terminated so guys what we are doing right here just we are just retrieving the window and dot dispose dispose means it's it it helps us to uh, destroy the entire window here yeah, as you can see releases all of the native screen resources used by this window uh, this is pretty useful just go ahead and read it read because the time does not permit me to give us a very long lecture on this dispose so this is pretty much like to terminate the window this is why we if, if we want to terminate any kind of window jframe window we use this dispose so guys if I run if I run the program again as you can see this increases the score if I touch anywhere yeah, it pops up some message saying game over your score is 2 yeah let's give a space between these your score is and the whatever the score let's go ahead and give a space so it looks great uh, where here we go here we go where is it yeah go ahead and run it yeah as you can see here is a space so guys this is what for this tutorial don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my next tutorial i'll see you in the next tutorial